Ah, oh, I love this music. Hey, dog cat thing. Uh, come on. Oh yeah, I do. Sh I should talk to these guys. Hey. <sighs> you not hide I think I had to talk to these to continue the plot anyway, but I'm literally just gonna skip, 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 skip it. You're kidding, right? Yes. The crusade. Gotta tell me who. Tell them who we are. Later. What? You've been fighting eight... Uh, uh, uh. You've been fighting 800 years and you haven't beat it. Well, have you actually seen... Have you seen Sin yet? It does seem like... We could just tell you, but I think... Go pray at the temple. Yeah, that guy's pretty cool. Yevon will help you regain your memory. See, the, the parts that are important to the game, I can't skip, so... Hey, what's going on? Yeah, maybe later. My save point's already resting me up good. Um, do I go to the Temple Summoner now or Waka? I think I go to Waka afterwards. Um, but I do want to check all the rooms first, because I don't know if I can access them at all times. And I think there may be a few potions hiding around somewhere. Um, this room doesn't have anything. I'm not interested in what they have to say. <laughs> There's a treasure chest somewhere out in the open, I think. Da -da -da. Is it around here? Yeah, here it is. God, that's glitchy. <laughs> Open in the back of the chest. Hey you, this is a shop, right? Let's buy some items. Um, let's actually let's sell five potions. Yeah. I think it's kind of important to have the Phoenix Downs more than the potions in a weird sense. I don't really know why, it just seems more f effective to have a way to get back up. Rather than healing myself at the moment. Hey, you, you important? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. Right, I'm just gonna go to the temple now. I know if I go to Waka's place, um, he says, you know, Fuck off until I get dinner ready or something. <laughs> probably, probably paraphrasing him a little bit there, but that's the basics. <sighs> God. That dog is important for later. And I didn't know about the dog until... Probably several years after I completed my first playthrough of the game. That one of the better attacks for Valvor is unlocked right here. Um, if you talk to the person behind the counter and then the dog, the person behind the counter says there's something, the dog's found something, something like that. Um, you talk to the dog, you find energy blast or something for Valvor, and I never knew how to get that. <laughs> I never knew that was the way of getting it. I knew that that was a item, item, was an attack. Standing in that place. Crying out loud. Notice things have changed a little, have you? God, that must that must actually sound like something else. <laughs> that was me button mashing before anyone says anything else. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Select X, square, triangle, circle, R1, R2, L1, L2, left, right, up, down, wiggle the analog sticks. Nothing does anything. Right, I'm guessing I talked to... Oh, for fuck's sake, I just barely moved. <laughs> Half of this opening is just going to be cutscenes that I can't skip. I should stop complaining about it, though, because I can imagine it's annoying. Yeah, hello, Braska. Yeah, thank you, old man. You're very informative. Well, what's a high summoner? <laughs> You're standing in a place like this. You could have. Uh, uh, I. You could be quiet I about it. Sin's, uh, toxin. Yeah, sin's toxin. Fuck. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> you should just start off saying. No, you shouldn't even start off with saying anything. You should have a big fucking name tag that says, "Hi, I'm Tyler. I walked into sin's toxin." Over over. <laughs> Funny, and a little sad. Yeah. 
The summoners are practitioners of a I can't even skip part, this bit. Sworn to I really do not care for it. Only a chosen few become summoners who call forth entities of great power, the Aeon. The summons, basically. The Aeons hear our prayers and come down to us. Yay. They are the blessing of Yevon. Mm hmm. So, what he meant was that we should respect some kind of great men or something like that, I figured. Great thought process there, dude. Great. You know what would be better? Yeah, I'm sure it will. But, um. I love how his thought process was. Oh, maybe we should respect these guys. He just told you he, that he could conjure up these people to help him. And you're like, Durr, maybe we should respect them. Because they, they can call in summons that could kick my ass in one go. This is Walker's place, right? Walker, the temple dude said mean things to me. I made an ass of myself. No time for lunch. Take a nap. Oh, there you go. Uh, thanks. You have to anyway. Even if you say no, your dinner's not ready, and you just kind of wait around. Hey, look, it's the dude. You could at least go see how they are doing. Can enough feed, Bart. Basically what he was talking about there is something we're going to find out hopefully later in this part before I have to end the episode. But the summoner is currently doing the Cloister of Trials. And the, garden, the Guardians are kind of blocking the way and, spoiler alert, Wack is a Guardian. Not blocking the way, um, protecting the area. Thank you. It's hard to talk about what's going on when this is happening. That's a good incentive. If he dies, you'll never be able to tell him how much you hate him. That's a good point. Sometimes you need those people you really hate to exist. Therefore, making you a better person Walker. because you never want to be like them. In a weird way, of course. Um. Yeah, I think Walker's in the temple. But yeah, it's difficult to talk over the game when I'm trying to skip the plot points. Well, not the plot points. The flashback scenes and the rubbish, you know, that I could sum up much quicker. It's really annoying skipping it and trying to explain what's going on when you can hear, like, half a word being said every single time. So what's going on? Is something wrong? <laughs> something wrong, Someone brother? From the trial. Eh? See, that's an air. <laughs> that's an ah. There's a room in there called the Cloister of Trials. Beyond is where the apprentice summoner prayed. If oh. the prayer is heard... The apprentice becomes e. a fully eh. There we go, we go through all the vows. Uh, so someone is in there somewhere and they haven't come back. A day's already gone. Is it particular? <sighs> Sometime. Why don't you? Ba, ba, ba. There's already guardians. Hey, but what if something happens? What if the summoner dies? The precepts must. Yeah. Like I care. Although, at this point, I really don't care. And Titus, you just made an ass of yourself. Right, I need to remember the closest zero trials and how to get around it to get the destruction fear. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. Yeah, maybe it wasn't. Basically, this is close to trials. I'm gonna try and get through this as quickly as possible. Cause it's annoying. It's a shame I couldn't have this at the beginning of the episode. Um, because I know a lot of people do search for the Cloister of Trials, how to get through it as quickly as possible and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, let's touch it. But yeah, I'm going to try getting through this with the Destruction Sphere. I cannot remember... everything? Yeah. Gimme Sphere. Gimme, gimme, gimme. 
Yes. 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 Give me a sec. Give me the sphere. There we go. I can then carry one at a time, and you basically... It's like a big puzzle. There we go, we insert the sphere, and it unlocks things, it does certain things. But now that's opened. It's open for good, I believe, and I can take it back out to use it elsewhere. Um, from this, what do I have to do? I don't have to put it there. Here we go. I think I got it. Yes. Open sesame. Here we go. Within here is the destruction sphere. No, it's not. It's the besaid sphere. Sorry about that. I'm trying to put the destruction sphere in here to destroy a path. The future. Ah. I think this goes here. I may be wrong. I think I might be wrong on that one. Yeah, give me a sec. Let's put this in the put this in this empty slot. Right. Again, I'm no master at this. There we go. This one goes in here. There we go. See, some spheres do certain things. Um, in this one's the destruction sphere. Got it. Right. Destruction spheres are important because in the closer trials, they make sure there's like one rare weapon or piece of armor or an item. That's only unlockable through the destruction sphere, and it's, you know, you can't get them back. I think the only time you can go back, you can actually go back and get some of them, actually. But I'd rather not return to these places, especially Besaid's one, because you have to get through some Dark Aeons to get back here, I believe. I'd rather not do that to get an item I'm never going to use at that point in my game. Yeah. So I've got an item for the future. Now that's happened, I'm going to rush back to the Besaid Sphere and put it in the pedestal from earlier. You can see how this might be convoluted. It gets much worse in the future. This is this is the simplest one. Um, it can get pretty nutty in the future. Give it a little push. Christ, we've already done 13 minutes. I want this to hurry up. There we go. Yep. Go, go, go. Yep. Push it. Push it real good. Wait. What's that thing on the floor? It's gotten into you. Why are you whispering? It's okay. Only summoners, apprentice summoners, and then there was something on the floor over there I didn't pick up. It's a tradition, very important. So why haven't you kicked so me out? About you? Me? I'm a guardian. <laughs> a guardian? Yeah, there's something shining on the floor back there. I got the feeling I could have picked up something. I'm hoping it's not important. Because uh, I don't think I can get back here. Guardians protect them. Well, that's the punishment, I guess, for rushing. One of them's got a sure fuse, and who knows what the others think? Well, now that we come this far, <sighs> might as well go all the way. Yeah, I suppose so. Considering, considering you unlocked all the puzzles for me, yeah, you might as well come along. What are you doing here? Didn't think we'd be able to handle it. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's just 
See, I told you she gets mad easy. Yeah. <laughs> Not even the second glance. Is the summoner all right? Who are you? Ladies and gentlemen, can we introduce the proper main character to this game, please? Which is Yuna. Let's shut Tidus up for a fucking change. Uh, look at this. I do kind of find it funny though, they're like, Summoner? Wait, the summoner's a chick? And <laughs> you know. <laughs> Alright. I kind of want to know what she does in there, because you can enter those rooms later in the game and there's not really much going on. This must be mentally exhausting for her. Good guardians. She's by far my favourite character in the game. But, I don't know. I said it. I have become a summoner. Yay. I don't know. There's something weird with saying that Tidus or Tidus are supposed to be the main character of this game. Because they ain't. They, they just so aren't. Like, he's a conveyance tool, if anything. Um, or is she... She's pretty much. Man, was I surprised. Everything is revolved around her story. Here I was thinking summoners were all old ge Yeah, geezers. I'm gonna skip your audio, Titus. Every time Yuna talks, I might just let her talk. Ah, thanks, dude. Even though you made an ass of yourself, we don't mind. Hopefully I get to save it just before a cutscene, but I don't think that's going to be the case. Because this is almost doubled in length, this episode. <laughs> yes, I got it. I don't have much of an option, do I? Oh, there's a rock in the way. Yo, Waka. What's up, brother? Why would you be looking... Why would you be looking that way? What was your own dopey fault for turning the wrong way? Okay. <laughs> I don't know, the voice actor seemed much more confident with her lines after this. Unless she purposely would, was doing that. The the first line that she said and the okay there just come out kind of like... I, I would hate to say half-assed because I can't voice act to save my life. But she's a really good voice actor in this game. It's just that, that first two lines always kind of scar me, because I'm just like... Did they rush her? Or did she just say okay without them expecting it, you know? <laughs> and they just took that? I don't think it was her fault, I think it was more on the direction side. Because Yuna's supposed to have a timid voice, but has this fucking power behind it, I guess. If that's possible, and she does the part really well. And I've forgotten who the voice actor is for Yuna already, which I'm kind of embarrassed about. <laughs> and that is your first... Um, I'm just going to call it Summon for now. It's an Aeon, or Eidolon, or GF. Depends on what you know Final Fantasy you started off with, but for me, these are Summons. That is Valvor. He ain't gonna be named Valvor once I get my hands on him. <laughs> God damn! Let me save the fucking game. <laughs> I'd never seen anything like it in my life. Sure, it was a little scary, but still, I can mm. feel a strange kind of gentleness coming from it. That's a pretty awesome first Aeon. Thinking about it, I mean. Ah, I get to name it. Uh, what am I going to name it? Let's just go with my heart. 
Mm. Flap flap. There we go. Flap flap. I remember. Summon the flap flap. <laughs> we talked for the first time. Oh, fuck I didn't sake. know it then, but after that night, everything changed. <gasps> For everyone. I'm going to pause it there because it's gone over 20 minutes. But um, I will join you in the next one with the stuff that he's talking about. Oh, one sec. For everyone. For me. There you go. Oh, I can't even save it there. Oh, pause it there. Sorry. Uh, pause. There we go. Pause. All right. I'll see you in the next part. <laughs>